Hi, in this video we will discuss more things things about rotational groups SO2 and SO3. So this slide is already discussed. You have 2D rotation completely specified by a single angle phi and so there is a, this is a one parameter group, one parameter group and the only linearly independent generator is sigma 2. You can represent the rotational matrix R phi as cos phi sin phi minus sin phi cos phi. This can be written as I2 cos phi plus I sigma 2 sin phi. Using Euler's equation you can represent this like this. Now this exponential representation from this representation we can identify that sigma 2 is the generator of R phi. Okay. Now we will see how to get sigma 2 from this matrix. By just by differentiation we can determine we can get sigma 2. So we will get sigma 2 by differentiating R phi. We have to do this differentiation. You have to differentiate R phi with respect to phi and then multiply with minus i and this differentiation is carried out at phi equal to 0. So first we can determine dr by d phi. If we calculate dr by d phi then differential of cos phi is equal to minus sin phi. Differential of sin phi is equal to cos phi. Differential of minus sin phi is equal to minus cos phi and differential of cos phi is equal to minus sin phi. Okay. Now this differentiation is at phi is equal to 0. So if I take phi is equal to 0 then you have to substitute 0 for these angles. Now what are the values? Sin 0 is equal to 0. Cos 0 is equal to 1. Cos 0 is equal to 1. So this will be minus 1. Sin 0 is equal to 0. So dou r by dou phi is equal to this matrix. Now you have to multiply by minus i. So you will get the result as 0 minus i i 0. And this is your <coughs> sigma 2 polymatrix. So by differentiating d this matrix r with respect to phi and multiplying by minus i at phi is equal to 0 we got sigma 2. Okay. Now a rotation in 3D space can be space described by 3 cross 3, 3 by 3 orthogonal matrix cos phi sin phi 0 minus sin phi cos phi 0, 0, 0, 1. I am not rotating with respect to z axis. That is z will change. That is the corresponding to 0, 0, 1. We will see the same rotational matrix. Cos phi, sin phi, minus sin phi, cos phi, cos phi. Now, we will see the cos phi, sin phi, minus sin phi, cos phi. Now, let us do this differentiation. Sz is equal to minus i dou rz by dou phi at phi is equal to 0. So, this part, this matrix in the evaluation, we will already see the same. Nanti, nama lalu this matrix ini differentiate itu. Angan nama kita itu sigma itu. Anu, kita last sigma itu kita. So that sigma itu, berapa beri? Nama kita, jadi kanci matrix ini corresponding aite. So that is sigma itu representation. Now, berapa nama kita differentiate? Yang lain, one nama atau one nama nama kita respect to angle differentiate itu zero. So this matrix ini nama lalu S Z name jadi S Z. And S Z is the generator of R Z. R Z ini generator anu S Z. Okay, now we will prove it. So, a rotation through an infinitesimal angle delta phi may be expanded as Rz delta phi is equal to I3 plus I delta phi Sz. Then we will try to do this. So, we will try to do this. So, we will try to do this. Rz delta phi Sz. is equal to is equal to i3 plus i delta phi sz नलाने हमने equation so we have rz delta phi is equal to cos phi sin phi zero minus sin phi 
cos 5 0 0 0 1 then we have rz 5 now from here we have matrix of presentation rz delta 5 so I have rz delta 5 so you have cos delta 5 sin delta 5 minus sin delta 5 cos delta 5 this is matrix now we have cos delta 5 is equal to 1 and sin delta 5 is equal to 0 angle 0 आउंबो cos 0 1 वेरूम sin 0 will be equal to uh, sin 0 0 लत्ति delta 5 sin delta 5 will be equal to delta 5 that is theta goes to 0 you can write down sin theta is equal to theta and cos theta is equal to cos theta is equal to 1 so this is our relation so theta 0 theta small value amba sin theta 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 avum cos theta 1 avum appo namukku substitute cheyidu okka avade cos delta 5 ku pagaram namukku endu varum 1 nu varum sin delta 5 ku pagaram okay sin delta 5 ku pagaram delta 5 nu varum theta ku equivalent avum then 0 minus sin delta 5 minus delta 5 varum cos delta 5 will be equal to 1 0 baaki illa elements adu pole verum yeah now we will say this is equivalent to i3 plus i delta 5 sz okay so what is i3 i3 is equal to 1 0 0 0 1 0 0 0 1 i3 plus i sig i delta 5 into so i delta 5 into sz z in the form of z is equal to z is equal to 0 minus i this is z so i will substitute here so z is equal to 0 minus i 0 i 0 0 0 0 0 in the random angle we will add the original first element we are 1 now but the first one the term is 0 so you will get 1 then you have 0 on the but the element is i into i minus 1 but the minus sign is delta 5 so this is the two matrix so you have 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 two matrix so we have proved that rz delta 5 is equal to i3 plus i delta 5 sz okay so this is this is for a this is for a rotation single rotation rz for infinite symbol rotation rz delta phi is equal to i3 plus i delta phi sz in the finite rotation successive in infinite symbol rotation going to compose here a small rotation plus or small rotation and small rotations and add in finite rotations some compose here but to put on rotations see the rz delta phi 1 plus delta phi 2 will be equal to corresponding i3 i3 plus i delta phi sz into i3 plus i delta phi sz and then we will do the rotation same in the moon the one plus i delta phi another sz to the video so if you have n rotation you will have rz phi is equal to 1 plus i delta phi sz raised to n okay now suppose i have n capital n rotations capital n rotations angane anengil ani case varunathu okay now let us see for n rotation you have this representation now delta suppose delta phi is equal to phi by n adayathu capital this phi rotations yani small n times delta phi rotations koodi chernunda adanu yan edukkunnathu n times delta phi rotations koodi chernu phi nalloru finite rotation compose idu so you will have delta phi is equal to phi by phi by n so then you have equation substitute substitute a term then you will get rz phi is equal to 1 plus i into your delta phi is equal to phi by n phi by n sz raised to n okay now i have another limit apply so my i am taking here limit n goes to infinity then this 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 will converge to 
exponential i phi z this you can write this as exponential i phi z okay step explain suppose you have a suppose you have a series 1 plus x whole raised to 1 plus x whole raised to n then this can be written as 1 plus n x plus n into n plus 1 by 2 factorial into x square plus n into n plus 1 into n plus 2 by 3 factorial into x cube plus etc. Okay. Now if n goes to infinity then you can write this as 1 plus x raised to n is equal to 1 plus n x plus n plus 1 n goes to infinity of n plus 1 and then n and then we do n square by 2 factorial x square and we next time we will have n into n plus 1 into n plus 2 and but n infinity and then we will have n plus 1 will be equal to n n plus 2 will be equal to n n plus 2 will be equal to n so you will have n cube by 3 factorial into x cube okay now we will have just e formula we will have series actually is 1 plus x by n whole raised to n formula so you can see the series here 1 plus x plus x square by 2 factorial plus x cube by 3 factorial plus so you can see the same thing here so you can see the nx by the series expand here so you can see the series here you will get 1 plus nx by n here you can see n square in the term here here n cube here so these n cubes and these n squares so n second and cancel here now this series is actually erase series of erase to x erase to x is 1 plus x plus x square by 2 factorial this series so 1 plus x by n raise to n will be equal to erase to x when n goes to infinity this fact is what we have to use here if you have x by n in the term here, you have i phi n, i phi n, i phi. So this series will be i phi into z, i phi into z, so exponential i phi z. If you have in this case, 1 plus x by n, you can write it as e raise to x. So this is the same. 1 plus i phi z by n. Then n is the same terms. Exponential i phi z. Now this form identifies from this form. It identifies that z is the generator. We can identify that z is the generator of this group. Now we have the term exponential i sigma 2 delta phi. Now we have the sigma 2 and generator of rz. R5 Now in RZ5 We will have the generator SZ Now similarly We can prove that We can prove that For rotation about X axis X axis rotation We can construe the X axis We can construe the Z down Z in the term We can construe the Z down Z We can construe the Y axis We can construe the Y axis these zeros will be back in the rotational matrix will be back in the rotational matrix will be back in the rotational matrix this matrix is rotational matrix cos phi sin phi minus sin phi cos phi we will rotate the file and rotate the file and rotate the angle and rotate the file and if you look at this these elements will be 0 with respect to y and y will be 1 then back in the matrix elements are rotational matrix cos theta minus sin theta sin theta cos theta that corresponds to rotational matrix now Rx sign the generator you can prove that Sx is equal to 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, minus i, i, 0. Now you can differentiate the matrix here. You can substitute the matrix here. That's why you can use 0, i, minus i, 0. Now you can use sigma 2 in the matrix. You can use the poly matrix here. You can use the elements here. So this you can prove similar to the previous case. Okay. Thank you.